Step into the world of Shakespearean tragedy with the 1948 film adaptation of Macbeth. Directed by Orson Welles, the cinematic rendition brings the timeless tale of ambition, power, and the consequences of unchecked desires to life. Have you ever found yourself drawn into the brooding atmosphere of this classic adaptation? As we delve into the details of this cinematic gem, consider this. Do you hold a cherished memory associated with the haunting imagery and compelling performances of Macbeth? Or perhaps, has this film left an indelible mark on your life, inspiring you in unexpected ways? Now, let's turn the spotlight to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Macbeth? We're eager to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. And now, without further ado, let's unravel some intriguing facts about this cinematic masterpiece. Did you know that Orson Welles not only directed but also starred as the ambitious Macbeth himself? The film's stark visual style, coupled with its compelling performances, captures the essence of Shakespeare's tragedy in a way that has stood the test of time. As we explore the depths of Macbeth's psychological unraveling on screen, consider the impact it has had on audiences over the years. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on the themes of power, guilt, and fate long after the credits rolled? Your stories await your, your cherished memories and experiences with Macbeth in the comments below. We would love to hear your unique perspective on this cinematic classic. Macbeth, the 1948 film adaptation of William Shakespeare's timeless tragedy, unfolds the harrowing tale of a Scottish general, consumed by ambition and manipulated by supernatural forces, as he descends into madness and tyranny. Directed by and starring Orson Welles, this cinematic gem is celebrated for its innovative use of chiaroscuro lighting and stark visual compositions, creating a haunting atmosphere that mirrors the dark themes of the play. Wells' portrayal of the titular character and Jeanette Nolan's Lady Macbeth stand out as iconic performances, capturing the essence of Shakespearean tragedy. The film's stylized approach and atmospheric cinematography have left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, influencing subsequent interpretations of the play and solidifying its place in the annals of film history. Macbeth remains a testament to the enduring power of Shakespeare's narrative, brought to life with a cinematic flair that continues to resonate with audiences, showcasing the timeless relevance of ambition, power, and the consequences of unchecked desire. During the filming of the 1948 adaptation of Macbeth, a unique approach was taken. The dialogues were pre-recorded, requiring the actors, including Orson Welles himself, to mime their lines on set. This unconventional method added an extra layer of complexity to the film's production, showcasing the innovative techniques employed by Welles. Interestingly, amidst the creation of this cinematic gem, John Wayne paid a visit to Orson Welles. Despite their differing political views, the two iconic figures got along well. This behind-the-scenes interaction offers a glimpse into the camaraderie that can develop in the world of filmmaking, transcending ideological differences. In a fascinating connection to Wells' earlier work, Erskine Sanford, known for his role in Citizen Kane, played King Duncan in Macbeth. This time, however, he met a more tragic fate at the hands of Wells' Macbeth. The parallel between these roles adds a compelling layer of intertextuality to the film, linking it to Wells' broader cinematic repertoire. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a unique perspective on the making of Macbeth, shedding light on the creative choices and interpersonal dynamics that shape this cinematic classic. It's a testament to the intricate web of relationships and influences that contribute to the rich tapestry of film history. Screenwriter Charles Lederer's personal life intertwined with the making of the 1948 film Macbeth in a unique way. Lederer married Virginia Nicholson, becoming the stepfather to Orson Welles' daughter, Christopher Welles. This family connection brought an interesting dynamic to the film's production. Despite his familial ties, Lederer navigated the complexities of both personal and professional relationships, contributing to the intricate web that shaped the behind-the-scenes of Macbeth. It's a lesser-known aspect of the film's history that adds a personal touch to the broader narrative of its creation, showcasing the intersection of family and filmmaking in this cinematic classic. Film debut of Jeanette Nolan In the 1948 adaptation of Macbeth, one notable aspect is the film debut of Jeanette Nolan. Stepping into the role of Lady Macbeth, Nolan made a strong impression with her performance, marking the beginning of a prolific career in the film industry. 
Her portrayal added a fresh perspective to the iconic character, contributing to the overall success of the film. This debut showcased Nal En's talent and set the stage for her future contributions to the world of cinema. The 1948 Macbeth remains a significant milestone in Jeanette Nal En's career, capturing a pivotal moment in the history of both the actress and the film itself. Former child star Roddy McDowell marked one of his initial forays into adult acting with his role as Prince Malcolm in the 1948 film adaptation of Macbeth. McDowell's transition showcased his versatility as an actor, contributing to the diverse ensemble cast of the cinematic gem. This shift in McDowell's career adds an intriguing layer to the movie's history, highlighting the convergence of seasoned performers and emerging talents in Orson Welles' bold charcoal sketch of Shakespeare's timeless tragedy. McDowell's presence as Prince Malcolm solidifies the film's impact not only as a faithful adaptation, but also as a platform for the evolution of actors across different stages of their careers. Dive into the world of Macbeth and witness McDowell's noteworthy emergence in this classic production, capturing the essence of ambition, power, and the consequences of unchecked desire. In 1936, Orson Welles' Mercury Theatre achieved its first success with an unconventional, all-black production of Macbeth set in Haiti. Despite positive reviews, a weak critique from Percy Hammond led Wells to encourage drummers in the production to chant spells against Hammond, who fell ill and died within 48 hours. Lawrence Olivier, considering a film adaptation of Macbeth, opted for Hamlet instead when he learned Wells' version would hit theaters first. Olivier's decision paid off with Academy Awards for Best Picture and Best Actor. The original 107-minute version of Wells' Macbeth featuring Scottish accents, was withdrawn after a disastrous premiere. It remained hidden until the 1980s. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes reveal the unconventional roots, competitive dynamics, and challenges faced by the 1948 adaptation of Macbeth, adding layers to its cinematic history. As the curtains fall on our discussion of the timeless masterpiece, Macbeth, I encourage you to take a stroll down the corridors of your own connection with this cinematic gem. Let the echoes of Shakespeare's tragedy resonate within you, and allow the haunting visuals of this cinematic rendition to linger in the theater of your mind. What memories does Macbeth evoke for you? Is it the gripping performances, the atmospheric cinematography, or perhaps the profound themes that have left an indelible mark on your soul? Share your reflections, as each viewer weaves a unique tapestry of experiences with this classic. In the shadows of ambition and betrayal, Macbeth becomes more than a tale. It's a mirror reflecting the intricacies of human nature. As you delve into your own thoughts, remember that the power of storytelling lies not only in the hands of the creators, but in the hearts of those who embrace it. Your insights and musings add depth to the collective appreciation of Macbeth, and I invite you to illuminate the comments section with your personal anecdotes. Let the conversation thrive like the timeless themes of the play itself. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the cinematic realms of Macbeth. Your time and thoughts are cherished, and I eagerly await the rich tapestry of memories you choose to share. Reflect, reminisce, and rejoice in the magic of storytelling.